Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. This short video, I want to talk about filtration. So we have two types of filtration. We're going to talk about filtration in the air and filtration in liquids. So first we have, we do have HEPA filtration. So HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air Filters. Any, fil any air filter with a pore size of 0.3 micrometers or smaller is a HEPA filter. So that's, you've heard of HEPA filters. Um, when I was in college, they were rare and expensive. Now like our vacuum has them, we have several around the house. So that's HEPA filtration to remove microbes from air. Very important, right? Think about the microbes being filtered in the healthcare environment, et cetera, et cetera. But I wanna focus a little bit more on membrane filtration. So membrane filtration is a great way to, um, to remove microbes from liquid Liquids. Now the key here is heat sensitive materials. So a membrane filter, I have a picture here just showing how the pore sizes are going to impact what travels through it. So a membrane filter has to have a pore size of 0.2 micrometers or smaller. This image is really cool here. You can actually see those pores and see the microbes being captured. They can't travel through. So this is a way to actually sterilize things that you can't heat up, that, that you can't, um, that are heat sensitive. So I've even seen pores now as small as 0.08 micrometers and I'm sure they'll keep Keep getting smaller so you can actually sterilize even removing you know bacteria we're getting to the point where we're removing viruses and prions and these kind of things so if you need to remove microbes from something without heating it up filtration is the way to go um, so when what, what examples would we have here so we have a few here um, vitamins antibiotics and then any other heat sensitive component but the main one I want to talk about is vaccines right vaccines uh, at this point have to be refrigerated, they cannot be heated up. So filtration is a great way to quote unquote, you know, sterilize a vaccine uh, without, without cooking it. So obviously antibiotics are just as important, but the reason I wanna talk about vaccines is because this is a huge issue, right? Some experts believe that half the vaccines that are administered around the globe are useless because you couldn't maintain the cold chain, which means they didn't stay refrigerated the entire time, right? You've got, um, you have some countries have less refrigerators than our, you know, our college campus has, or um, some countries have refrigeration, but there's only power um, sometimes, right? And it's spotty. So refrigeration is a huge issue in many parts of the world. So you take these very, very huge heat sensitive vaccines and antibiotics and you have them, you know, you, you you travel around countries with them in styrofoam coolers. It just doesn't work. So we'll talk about this more with vaccines. But in the future, if you were to tell me what's the one thing we could do to make vaccines better, obviously I'd want them to be more effective and, and less side effects and whatever, all, cheaper, all these things. But um, vaccines that do not require refrigeration would be my number one choice. So filtration, just remember it's a, it's a critically important way to control microbial growth when you can't use heat. And those are your two examples, HEPA filtration for the air, membrane filtration for liquids. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.